Some videos ago, I pulled a super nice pack of brushes only for graphite style, very accurate. You can see the video here in the channel. Thanks to the feedback, I decided to make them even easier to use. Now let me introduce you the new brush pack, Sketch version 2. Tilt, no tilt, you decide what fits better to you. There are 16 brushes carefully redesigned especially for sketching, including amazing color pencils and blenders. You will love them. Also, the bundle comes with a useful and complete PDF explaining everything. I hope you like them and enjoy them. They are free and remember that your support to Krita is what makes this type of things possible. If you like them, please share your feedback in the comments. Links are in the description as usual. And now let's go with dynamic figure drawing tricks. Let's go with the drawing. If we want to draw the figure, it's good to warm up. At least 10 minutes, not detailed but fast drawings. This way we can only draw the more important things. Like in any sport, we need to just connect the brain with the muscles. We are going to copy some images, not focused in the details, but overall shape and movement. If we want to draw something fast, don't do it too big or too small. I know, I know, in the Italy we can use the transform tool, but you get the idea. We are using a grid for the figures. Why? Because that limited area helps us to be fast. This exercise, it must be one minute or two minutes. Remember, it's like a warm up. We need to finish it fast. Taking it as a game, something fun, where mistakes are welcome and you are playing. Detail is not important here, but movement. So we will use a lot of squash and stretch from animation principle. Look about that term and you will get it. That helps to achieve fluid movement, not a robotic look. All these images are from Pexel's platform. So thanks to all the artists there that upload good photographs. And about the speed, this is not the real speed, sorry. I'm not flash. But I can say that in real time, each pose is around a bit less than a minute. As I was drawing, I was looking the overall area of the pose and thinking about be like water, my friend, as Bruce Lee said. Yes, you need to be in relaxed state and flow. Some things will be better than others. It is a matter of practice. And then you can check your sketches and see for a moment and say, hey, what the hell I was thinking here? Or wow, that line is so cool. You will discover that drawing can be really, really fun. Now let's go with the bigger pose. As you can see, I'm focused in four important parts, spine, it is not flat. This shape has a lot of movement or flow. The shoulders line and hip lines very important for tilted positions. An arm and legs created with simple curves and decreasing shapes. Simple. But if you notice these lines are not flat. Maybe you can perceive subtle changes or volume variation and then draw it. And this type of technique is useful for all type of poses. Of course, you can imagine your own poses, but first you need to practice copying a lot. I applied that for me too. And even the artists on top practice almost every day because drawing it is like a muscle and has a memory. Notice how the lines are done with fast strokes. Curves are the dominant, but don't forget areas where masses support big tension or is a brick point between fluid and static lines. I'm using this brush from the new pack because I feel it's soft, but you can use whatever brush for this exercise. Let me know in the comments how you do it in your desktops, in Krita or traditional too. If we want to create movement, we can use three basic type of movements, bending, flexion, and twisting, or shortening. To understand this better, we can use a cylinder. It is a long square shape, but if we rotate it, then it becomes a circle. So a long shape in a side view can be seen as a circle in front view 
if we rotate the object or we change our point of view position. Also, I need to create depth. How? With overlap principle. If we have an orange like this, we don't know the real position. If we overlap the shapes, then we have like T shape. Now we understand that the orange B is in front of the A orange. The object with interrupted line is the object that is behind. Same applies to the human figure. No anatomy, no nothing. Ellipses, simple and effective. Finally, we can also use this file done in Blender to create your own basic poses and practice. We select the part of the body we want to move and press R twice to rotate freely or use the rotation gizmo. You can reset the rotation pressing Alt R. Simple, but helps your mind to simplify the movement. And then past in Krita. Communication. Each pose is important. A simple word like hi may be different things. We use dynamic poses not only because it is cool, but informative. We are telling stories with our characters. It gives us an idea of the character's personality or physical strength. Communication is divided into three main areas. 7% words, or what you are saying, 38% verbal behavior. It could be, for example, the tone, if you're screaming, whispering, or the speed as you talk, and 56% not verbal communication. And this is what we are going to analyze today. The facial expressions are easy to represent in a simplified way. We can use the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. Posing the character. Now I am drawing three different poses with the same word. You will see how you feel them different. Heroic, normal, and tired. We don't need to make a lot of detail, but the overall shapes must be in the right proportion. I use a lot of the square and the ellipse. When I'm drawing like this, I'm thinking about what the character is thinking. Why? Is it according to his personality? So I start to acting and sometimes it's really funny to see myself putting faces or posing. So don't be shy. You are the best model and free. Your pose must be correct at the beginning before you put details on it. There is a lot of little details that can help you to create good expressions. The little smile, the tilted chest, the arm aiming upwards, and look how he or she is occupying a wide area. It means I am a character with good self-esteem. Now you see how the more casual or relaxed character is worrying about the third character, maybe the older one that is really tired. You can see how the arms are pointing down. The stick is too much weight and the spine is also tilted. This is non-verbal communication. Movement. Movement comes from angles. Straight lines don't help. We need like zigzag movement. If we draw over the straight lines, we get a front pose or rigid movement. Zigzag or curves are better. We can start drawing the basic shapes, not all the muscles, to make sure everything is correct. And then we will draw over that sketch. Can you see the difference? It contains the same elements, but is different. So as you can see, I start with the combo, spine, shoulders, arms, head, hip, and legs. Stick figure, pretty simple. And we need to feel the pose energy there. Then I start to add in ellipses and boxes that represents volume. Also, the cylinders are useful for arms and legs. I'm using here black color and good pressure to see better the strokes in the video for a smartphone users. But personally, I will use light drawing style. Once I have the structure, I start to think in muscles. They are a lot. You can learn all their names, but it is better to understand their overall shapes. The main shapes in chest, leg, arms, etc. Also, we need to think about are super muscles needed for our character? Maybe not. Then I sometimes play with alternatives in post fixing. And after that, 
I start with details or final drawing with another layer. Gravity and heavy weights. When we are posing, we are in balance. We need to think about the object's weight. Now this pose will be impossible, but it becomes reality when we add weight in the other side. We pose because we are doing something. Lifting 380 kilograms like Ignacio Prurena is not easy. <laughs> now the record is even bigger. It is a big effort, and in this case, the face is like grunting. We are interacting with external forces like gravity, and gravity attracts the rock to the earth. These special rock lifters lift heavy rocks with bare hands. They are really strong, but it is not only strength that gives them the power, but the ability to move their weights and balancing. So think about how gravity or other forces affect your character. You can see here another example on drawing a sketch from memory. It's a side view and I use a lot of ellipses to be fast representing the main shapes. What makes the character to be in that pose? Is something menacing? Maybe, but the arms are backwards and it's carrying something. So some muscles are contracted and others elongated. I define a bit better the anatomy parts to feel in my own muscles the contraction, the weight, the effort. Then you can compare with photos to see how good the sketch is or what do you need to improve. If I reduce the size, now we have a better scene view and we can see the wind is moving his parachute or whatever the object is. So thinking what external forces can modify the pose you are trying to achieve. Okay, a box or whatever. Hey man, 250 kilograms? This is heavy weight and must be difficult to be moved without any will or helper. This is not real, isn't it? How strong is my character? Does she or he has extra force like exoskeletal armature or whatever? If we want to represent real strength, we need to imagine how we will act in that situation. What type of muscles are we using? And what will be the pose for? In this case, I know that the character is carrying a heavy weight with a rope. Simple. So we tilt the back and put the arms near the body as the weight is moving the hands to the body. The face is weird. If you make a big effort, normally your head and torso are aligned to don't stress your spine too much. Now the character is safe. So if we want realism, first think and then draw. Now imagine the heavy weight is in front of us. Maybe we are sailors in ancient times and we need to move heavy fishes. You can see that the pose is a stream. If I remove the weight from the drawing, the figure falls. So as you understand already, we are balancing forces. Also, you can see how the muscles work all together. It's amazing how the body is designed like a machine to work effectively. As you can see, I am detailing a bit more this sketch with a bit of shading. Your lights in the scene are also important to give the right mood to your pose. I think in the muscles. Are they agonist or antagonist? Are they contracted or elongated? This works in all the body. Chest, for example, with pectoralis major versus posterior deltoid and dorsal. Think in 3D. Ethan Baker is a YouTuber that has a super nice video about figure drawing. Basically, he's playing with the idea that a shape can be interpreted in a different ways. In dynamic poses, there is always a stress side, a bit curve, and the other side with a corner point. I recommend you to watch it entirely and enjoy his own and unique style. Of course, after watching this entire video, please. <laughs> Why that system works? Well, imagine a cube in perspective. We can see it like a shape. So there are visible lines and not visible lines. If we reverse the lines, then we have different points of view. That is really powerful because here we are using simple cubes. 
we can use that fantastic trick to even reverse poses or create interiors in different positions. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned a lot. There are much more content in the channel, so go for it, check it out and watch it. And remember that this is possible by your support to Krita. So thanks a lot and stay tuned because more content is coming.